Hello everybody, Jesse Dusty here. Welcome to apparently a data file corrupted game. Wow. This is the first time that I'm actually seeing this. And it's on the Nintendo 64. And it's Mario Party 3. And I'm like, why the hell is the data file in file one corrupted? Even though I haven't played this game. Not since I played the story mode of the game on my channel uh, a year or two ago. I can't remember when it when I did it. I think it was uh, late 2019, but yeah, I haven't played it since, and yet this happened. Huh. All right. Okay, welcome back. I am here in my second save file that I have unlocked pretty much everything. Uh, I do have a game currently being played, but that's when I tried to do a recording a few weeks ago or something. But yeah, we're gonna go to the Battle Royal map and go from there. So we're gonna pick the same people. For the boards, I was thinking of going in reverse order, so the unlockable board at the start and then go right down to Chilly Waters or something. But I think what I'm gonna do is... Um... Is probably go in alphabetical order with the boards. So... Yeah, I, and I also have Super Hard unlocked. Ah, uh, you know what, let's go for it. Give me... Give myself a little more challenge, you know? No handicap. Uh, okay, looks like just uh, chilly waters first. And then we'll go with creepy cavern next time. And then go from there. So, we're gonna go with 20 turns normal. I could make it 15, but I think 20 is the, uh, the normal focal, focal point of the, the playthrough. So a bonus on, and yeah, we're good to go. Let's go to Chilly Waters. Also, I am using a couple pillows instead of the couch cushion to eliminate the squeaking. So if you hear any squeaking, that will be the couch itself, not the pillows. Because of the springs underneath, you know. Alright, you're all here. Welcome to the legendary Chilly Waters. It is so chilly, you're gonna freeze in the water. That, I don't know. In the snowy freezing land, you are battle to become the superstar. Now, before we begin, obviously we do the turn order. I am not going first, apparently, because Daisy decided to steal that from me. Otherwise, it's basically the same order with Yoshi and Wario. Ten coins and good luck. Okay, where's the first star gonna be? I don't know if I should make this as informative as possible, but I will go over the little points on the board. Every playthrough is different, so uh, we're just gonna do that with... Um, I guess I'll go normal so you can pause and read the text a little bit with the computer players, I don't know. Okay, Daisy got a blue space, those give you three coins. Red space, minus three coins. Toad space, you got item minigames. But there's also a uh, Toad and Baby Bowser will also appear on a black or yellow star. And if, you're if it's Toad, uh, he'll answer, he'll give you a question for you to answer and often more often than not he'll give you good items if he likes the answer that you choose. Baby Bowser, the same thing, but he'll give you basically a little more bad items, stuff like that. So there's that battle games with the Goomba. So there can be zero, ten, twenty, thirty, fifty coins. If it's zero coins then there'll be no battle, but ten to fifty per player as a fee and then 
they battle battle it out in the mini game to see who would get a lot of coins. Bowser spaces often a bad event will play if you land on it. Sometimes you might get away with uh, might get away with something, but it depends on the event. The exclamation marks are change times. I did not do that. So change time allows you to alter the game in your favor or you could alter the game for someone else's favor. It really comes down to luck basically. You could control a little bit on what happens in change time if you're doing it but more often than not something random will happen and it will change the course of the game. Uh, this shy guy here with the bow tie is a game guy and you have to fork over all your coins and if you win the game you get double uh, the amount of coins that you give him at the start or depending on how you do in the game you'll get more and the boo you can steal coins or stars from other, pl other players I think that's about it the question marks are happening spaces a random event will happen mostly to do with this guy with the snowball the bank here is a Cooper bank you pass it you uh, you give him five coins but if you land on it you get all the coins that's in the bank these ice doors here are skeleton key doors so if you have a skeleton key item you can go through the doors if not then you'll just hit the door with the face plant and then just go back there's the star here, you have to get it for 20 coins. It never changes with the price, so that's good. So yeah, let's uh, get on with the game. I'm gonna get a 1 because apparently that number's been predetermined. I learned that uh, the numbers on the dice block are randomly generated. Maybe? We don't know 100% if that's the case, but the numbers are kind of predetermined for you, but I don't really know the specifics of that, but uh, in the description below, I'll give a link to a video where I learned about the uh, dice blocks and ran random number generators, RNG, that I learned a bit about it. So, if you want to know more about it, then hit the link in the description below for that one video from someone else. Alright, our first mini game of the playthrough is Snowball Summit. Press B repeatedly to build a snowball. Roll it around to make it bigger, then press A to roll it at your rivals, and hopefully that uh, it will send them flying down to their doom. So move around, A to release it, B to build it. Bigger snowballs will knock your opponents farther, obviously, but as your snowball grows, it rolls more slowly. And therefore you'll have a harder time trying to move the damn thing. Alright. But since they're on super hard difficulty, I'm probably not gonna do this. How about Daisy goes away? No, you're not gonna hit me, pal. Uh-oh. Oh, really? Yoshi, I blame you. I kept trying to build a snowball to block Wario's snowball, but Yoshi was right there beside me, so it automatically hit him. And therefore, it made me lose, so since that's the case, I hope Wario wins, but Yoshi is being a dick right now. You guys gotta get away from- oh boy. Wario, get away from the edge. Wow. Okay, I'm guessing it's gonna be a tie because they're not doing anything to hit each other off. Oh. Nope. Oh well. Well, you almost walked off the mountain, but... Oh well. A draw so nobody gets anything, so... We're gonna move on like nothing happened. Whew, good. I didn't want Daisy to land on the bench space. And hopefully Yoshi doesn't land on it either. I have a chance to do it. Oh. Oh. I thought he would. See. It's a girl. See. I thought she was going to land on an item space. But nope. Blue space. Okay. I need a one, two, three, four, five. Give me a five. That is 
five times two. Oh, well. Okay. Uh, now I can land on an item space up there or land on a red space. I am going to go to an item space because I want an item. Woo! Toad appeared on a star. It's your lucky day. Answer this question for your chance to get an item. Ooh. What kind of item would you like to have? A cheap item, average item, or an expensive item? How about average? You're an honest person. Since you're so honest, I'll give you all the items you can carry. A boo repellent, a magic lamp, and a mushroom. Wow, those are good items. Thank you very much. Alright, so boo repellent basically allows you to be protected by boo. So, not, well not by boo, but protected from boo. So basically, if someone tries to get boo to steal coins or stars from you, the boo repellent will repel him away and you'll be fine. It's a one-time use though, so once it's been used the first time, it's gone after that. So you have to get another one if you want to be protected some more. And the other two items I'll go over once it's my turn again. Second minigame is Mario's Pedal Party. The one I prefer over Bob on Breakers from Mario Party 4. Break blocks by connecting two or more of the same color. The worms will occasionally fall and squash blocks for you. I gotta stop pressing R. Uh, move cursor A and B, rotate blocks, V drop blocks. Garbage blocks will break when the colored blocks touching them are broken. Yeah, basically. What? So pressing R in the minigame selection uh, explanation screen will basically, um, what? Oh. I was looking at Yoshi, and that's not who I'm using, so I gotta stop doing that. There we go. This is not going so well. Yeah, I wasn't gonna win that. I was going so slow. Ah, uh, good job, Yoshi, you piece of... Dino. He got 100 points, so the first one to 100 wins the game. So Yoshi got enough for a star now. I'm still in last place, but... I've got three wonderful items, and nobody can do a thing about that. Go right. That is not right. That is an item space. And Daisy's gonna do a hey bada 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 hey bada swing minigame. So, she has a chance to get an item of her choice. This is a timing based game, so when Baby Bowser throws the ball, you, if you hit early, you'll go for the left side. Straight on will be a warp block. Or, hitting late will give you a mushroom. Good job, Daisy. Why did you get that? The ice looks like it might crack, so when two people are on that ice, it'll break and then you just go to the pink circle right here. But, when it comes to the items, this is a magical lamp. Use it to call the Mushroom Genie and have him take you directly to the star. It can also cancel curses and reversals. And the Mushroom is use it to get two dice blocks to start your turn. It can also cancel the effects of curses and reversals. So that's it right there. Uh, I'm not going to use any of those. I'm going to get a seven and go towards the star and yep Luigi ran tried to run up the slope the icy slope he did but if he failed if he fell down 
he would go to that blue space on the bottom of the hill and therefore because he would have landed on that two players would go to that bottom right space there but Wario got ooh he got two items warp luck and a cellular sopper basically a cell phone so what that does, if you use it, you can call either the Toad or Baby Bowser item shop and you can get any item you want there. Warp Block basically warps you with another player on that uh, space. Okay, Pick and Panic. Grab the cherries from Woody, then pass them to your partner to put them in the basket. Press A to grab them and release them. To the distance, the cherries fly depending on their size. Try to match your timing to their size. Basically. So, there'll be one, two, or three cherries at once. So, there's three cherries. Two, oh. One will go pretty far. Three won't go as far. Oh, nice. We're getting a lot of threes. Good job, Yoshi. Although they're on super hard difficulties. Oh, what? Oh my god. Oh, they had a three cherry one at the end. Well, Yoshi and I got a two cherry. Oh. That's cheap. That is so cheap. Now I can't even get the star. I'm gonna pass it. Unless I roll a low number. Or... Well, no. Nope, can't do that. Daisy's gonna use the mushroom. I was gonna say, get a 1 and land on the battle space, but... Can't have that now. So she rolls a 7... 1 away from the bank space. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna hope for a 1 or 2. Thank you very much. Although now I have to win in order to actually get the star here, unless Wario uses his warp block. Or not. In that case, there will be no battle game. Oh, oh boy. That's not good. Oh, Toad gets an item space. Everyone landed on an item space so far, which is pretty interesting. Two of which... Toad came down on a star, and two of them are item minigames. Huh. Breaking even, I'd say. This is swinging with sharks, so you have a chance to jump and land on a barrel containing an item of your choice. And he chooses the boo appellant. Yoshi. Oh, boy. I won't be able to steal from him, that's for sure. Ooh, well, he's not gonna use the warp block, thank you. But he's gonna call Toads. And is going to get a skeleton key. Why did you get a skeleton key? I would have gone for the magic lamp. It's 20 coins, sir, sure, but I would have gotten that instead of a skeleton key because now there's no uh, magic lamp available here in the item minigame. Winner is wheel, so. I would laugh if Wario got a boo repellent. That would be hilarious. And that would mean three of the four players would have a boo repellent. But no, he's gonna get a cellular sopper. So. Oh well. So much for that, but how oh well. He might uh, he might call Toads and get a boo repellent there, but my guess is he's probably just going to buy another skeleton key. Why not? Oh, this is not comfortable with the with the way I'm sitting. Uh, um. Okay, I'm probably going to try and get my chair in a good spot here to use so 
All right, Rock and Raceway. Saddle up a hobby horse and race. Use the carrot panels in the middle of the track to dash. A, B, or A and Z to alternate repeatedly to move and proceed. If you try to go too fast, your horse will spin out. Slow down when your carrot meter gets slow. Yeah, I'm, I just use A and Z. A and B is okay, but I use A and Z because that's how I've always done this. The same with Balloon Burst. Well, you'll hit the dog carrot, so that daisy spun out. Now I'm pressing A and B for the dash. And now Yoshi's a little ahead of me. That's not cool, man. Oh, Yoshi screwed up again. Holy crap. Oh, wow. By 0 0.04 milliseconds. Wow. Okay. I didn't think I was going to beat the record. I slowed down a little bit so that I can get the dash carrot and not hit the blue carrot. So if I kept going, I uh, it's all about timing. So if you time it just right and keep the speed up, you could beat 42 seconds, but it's hard to do that. Ah, baby Bowser appears. Are you a picky eater? Yes, you are. You get two items. Oh my God. Lucky lamp and a reverse mushroom. This is the only game that the reverse mushroom appears in and it's a great item. The lucky lamp on the other hand, you can use that if you want to move the star location. But thankfully I'm right here and I can get the first star of the playthrough. Nice. I'm in first place, one star, one coin. Oh my god, so many ones. Okay, where's the next star? Right there. Uh, I don't think anyone is going for that. I uh, don't know where Wario is though. Where is he? Ah, could have landed on a happening space, but no. I think Wario is still back there before the bank, so he could still technically reach the star. Yeah, he, he went on that item space that back there, so yeah. Yeah, there, there you are. You can still get the star unless he gets a high roll here. He he calls Toad again, and he buys a mushroom. Okay, better than a skeleton key at this point. And he rolled too high, so he's gonna pass the star. So. Oh well, he, it's not gonna be, he's not really going to be able to get it anyway. So even if he landed there and won a minigame, he's still not going to have enough. One versus three. I don't know how I feel about that. Thwomp pole. I hate yeah. Alright. Press the buttons the thwomps tell you to with good timing to move your sled forward. A, B, or Z. And I'm on the left. So basically on the, when you see the character faces right here, where you are, if you're in the left, middle, or right, that tells you what button you're gonna use. And it's always Z, B, A in that order. So I'm on the left, I go Z. So if you press the wrong button, the thrums will get confused and pause. Be careful not to make mistakes. Well. I don't. Saying that, I probably am going to make a mistake. Oh wow.
Oh, shoot. Ah, uh, yeah, there he won. Oh, dang it. <laughs> oh, I tried to be a little quick about that. <laughs> and it cost me the win. Uh, if I didn't hit that right there, we would have won. But yeah, with super hard computer players, they're actually hitting the buttons a little quicker now. So, that's something. Uh, why did I hit that? Oh! This is the reason for a reverse mushroom. Roll low though. Don't roll a high number. I hate you. But yeah, she just got the star. I would have laughed if she went right. <laughs> But no, she did the right thing. She got the star. Lucky piece of... Yeah, good job, Daisy. Now, the star is going to be over there where I'm going. So, that's going to be cool. Although, I kind of want to go down to Boo. And you can't get them both at the same t time. That was an odd direction, but okay. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go this way. Um, I could theoretically land on the bank. I hope I will. So one, two, three, four, or one, two, don't go through the door, three, four, five, six. So four or six would let me land on the bank. But if when you come here, you have a choice of going right or left. And if you go left, you won't be able to go to Boo unless you have a skeleton key, in which case you could go this way. Go through the door, but I'm gonna go to Boo first, and because I have a magic lamp, I'd rather go to Boo first. So, there we go. And of course, I get a one. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to. Oh! jump over the snowball. So that's an action event. So you can press A if you want to hop over the ball. But if you miss or you don't want to jump over it, you can just let it chase you to the other side of the board if you want to go that way sooner than later. So there you go. You have a choice. Okay. Yoshi is playing Dory Dip which is an easy game to get an item you want, but it involves timing, obviously. So, Yoshi's favorite item in this game is the Warp Lock, but he's not gonna get that, he's gonna get a Yoshi, he, I almost called it a Yoshi Key. Why? It's not a Yoshi Key, it's a Skeleton Key. But yeah, uh, I'm going to, <coughs> Try and get my chair here so I can sit in that. Move over there. How about you go there? Ha ha! He fell. What a dumbass. What? What? Oh, you suck. Lucky fat ass. That could have happened to me, but I went up the hill instead of down. Alright. Hold on a second. I want my chair here. But, uh, let's see what game we have next. Hide and sneak. Ooh, I like this one. And something fell. My mouth. Oh, come on. Get on that. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm probably going to uh, cut that little part out, so there we go. Uh, okay, hide and sneak. Three players, while the curtain is open, use the <laughs> to hide. If the single player guesses your hiding place, you lose. Yoshi's the one player, so he gets to hit a switch, and the rest of us hide. A hiding place will disappear after the seeker has chosen it. Be careful as the hiding places decrease. Alright. I apologize for that holy crap. I don't have much room here at all, so... 
あー Don't pick the rock Don't pick Dwayne Johnson Good job Daisy Wow Daisy sucks uh, I'm gonna go up Don't you dare pick Dwayne Johnson Ooh, good job. Oh, good job, Wario. Okay. Will it work a third time? I don't know. It does. Nice. Haha, <laughs> take that. Ah, good job. I hit there all three times, and he never picked it. But if he did that time, then he would have won that mini game because this guy, Wario, decided to hide there with me. If all human players were playing that mini game, then it would be impossible to win that, basically. Unless nobody told each other where they were gonna hide. So that's the that's the more it's more fun doing it that way. Oh my god, you have two lucky lamps. I hate you. But uh, it's more fun to do it that way, you know? Um, not having a clue. Hmm. Well, this sucks. Alright, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go down this way. I want to try and land on that bank space. And I think a three would be better. Would be a better chance to get than a one, so... If I get a three next turn, hallelujah, but, oh, uh, yep, oh, no, he's not. He gets a warp lock, of all things. Wow. I am really close to the TV here. Because this couch, I can't move it back any farther, so. Oh, well, I think this will be good, because this is not squeaking at all, so. There's that. Okay. Next minigame. MPIQ. I like this one.